cordially I let the microphone gleam ever forcefully uh, Through your speakers, feel the force from me I got the Yoda and the Vader mixed portion C Equal parts, y'all be seeing the same as an eagle source All angles and streets plus even more That's why I keep it raw, you saw me in the streets And you know I got the style and the flow C Need more green in the bank, tell the four C And got more clear bars in the four G Hello and welcome back to Bass Crusher TV. As always, I'm your host, Josh Price, a.k.a. The Bass Crusher. I hope everyone's doing well today on this Tuesday. It's cold here in Colorado, but I went to the gym, got my workout in, and I'm pumped and ready to go. So first of all, I want to take this time to say thank you to all of my subscribers. Thank you for all your support. It means the world to me. Second of all, if you're a new viewer, please subscribe. Please hit the like button and feel free to leave a comment. So, today's video is going to be a two part thing about the same company, Lucky 7 Baits. They are my soft plastic sponsor out of Florida. They are trying to get a booth this year at iCast in Orlando, Florida. They have started a GoFundMe page. All donations would be super appreciated. I will leave the link for that GoFundMe page in the video description. Again, they would appreciate any donation. I know I would being a part of the team and as a brand ambassador. So let's get right to it. The second part of this video, I want to talk to you about the baits and how to rig some of them. <coughs> so first off, we have the Lucky 7 Baits Super Frog little four inch frog here it's got the paddle tails for when you pull it through the water makes that disturbance in the water it's got the slit in the belly where you can hide the hook so what I would do is I take this little uh, I think this is a three out hook here and I will go up through here Come up through here. I should have said earlier not slit in the belly, um, a slit in the top of the frog. So then we got the frog here, just hooked like that. You got that little slit that I was talking about, and that exposes the top of the hook there. So when they bite down, you know, on it, come forward, boom got a hook set pretty neat little frog does a great job working across the top of the water and the genius thing about this is as soon as that fish bites down boom that hook appears and you can set that hook you know these are uh, real great for just throwing on water throwing across the top of some weeds um, you can use these over just about any kind of vegetation it's real light and uh, as you can see it's got a lot of movement and uh, this is a real durable bait it can take a lot of abuse these are the super frogs again check them out the second bait I want to talk to you about is our craws we have a four inch craw here so these craws Again, I'll show you, super durable, super stretchy, got a lot of action to them. <clears throat> These, what I like to do is I'll, t I'll bite off about that much of it and put the rest on a football head jig and uh, it works great as a trailer. Or there's the old Texas rigging and just punch it through the back there. And then right through that, like that, there, get it straightened out. And then you can, you know, either peg your weight here if you're fishing structure or bushes or certain things like that, or you can just do the regular Texas rig and let it, the weight slide free. But again, boom, fish bites, there's the hook right through it. So, um, like I said, these are really, really good bait. 
they come scented this one's in hog juice yeah in hog juice which is a uh, lucky sevens scent I have no idea what's in it I just know that it works um, let's see what else we got here um, lucky seven has the little critters which is their Ned rig worm these things are awesome they got a lot of action to them again real durable real stretchy um, I won't go into too much detail on how to fish these because I think most of you know how for the ones of you that don't you get a Z-Man mushroom head hook um, punch it through here have the top of the weight resting on here and the hook come out over here and this is an awesome awesome bait and uh, they have them in multiple colors and you can get the hog juice scent and they have a new scent that I think is like a shad bait fish scent um, that they can add to it Let's see what else they got here oh yeah these are their super flukes these things are awesome real durable got the split belly you know I probably fish these just like anybody else does just punch that eyelid of that hook down in there and then just bring it right out the front oh, this one's being stubborn just right out the front like that and tuck this top of that hook head right below the surface there you go and then just jig it well, I shouldn't say jig it um, jerk it back let it sink jerk it back let it sink these flukes are awesome this color in particular caught me one of the best smallmouth I've ever caught this last year so yeah the lucky seven super flukes um, let's see what else we got here we got uh, lucky seven again stick baits this is like their Senko worm super durable super limber got a lot of movement great for that wacky rig what else do we got here? Oh, these are the lucky seven chunk trailers I think you guys have seen zooms I think it's like called a uh, super chunk but yeah these are perfect for your jigs football head jigs casting jigs hook these on there it's a nice trailer as you can see good movement in those claws there these are centered in that hog juice got a good thick chunk to hook through on your jigs there and uh, we got purple and, and kind of a fuchsia here they come in a multiple array of colors and either of Lucky 7 baits scents. What else we got here? We got uh, Lunker Sticks. This almost looks like just a giant drop shot worm, but this is a worm that I would use. Obviously, a little bigger hook than this. Texas rig it myself. And as you can see, a lot of movement in that real thick at the top and comes to a flat tail at the bottom real stretchy that's a good good worm throwing under a dock or you know just throwing out in the lake and reeling it back slow fishing the Texas style these are their little sticks this is a smaller version of that worm I just showed you this actually is used for drop shotting um, you can also put it on the z-man uh, mushroom head jig which I've done myself and done well catching bass these also come in a multiple array of colors and scents Yep. Mm. 
So here is the Lucky 7 8, eight inch seal tail, sea tail worm. You know, this is your normal regular old fishing worm. You know, good for Texas rigging. Just how you would a normal worm. Punch that in there. There you go. Put your weight on here. Peg it. Slide it up and down. You're good to go. These worms are a little thinner. They got a lot of action and they're still super durable. Put up with a lot of abuse. Okay, what else we got here? Close this up. Oh, these. Lucky 7 baits. 12 inch magnum worm. These are for going after those monsters. You'd obviously need quite a bit bigger hook than this. But this bad boy, super stretchy, pulled too hard, broke it. But yeah, they are a great worm. Like I said, super stretchy, unless you yank too hard. Of course, these are not for human consumption, so I don't think we have to worry about the fish destroying them. These also come in either scent and a multiple array of colors. Oh yeah, I forgot we got this. Um, these are the Bucky baits. These are a good creature bait, especially again for Texas rigging. Thick, big fat body, really, really durable, really stretchy. Can put up with a lot, a lot of abuse as well. And uh, yeah, these are perfect, again, for that Texas rigging. Just punch that hook right off the top of the bait. There you go. Now you got your good creature bait to throw everywhere. What I would do is I would put the weight down here and peg it and uh, pitch it and flip it like that. I wouldn't have the weight sliding. That's just me personally. Um, when I would be fishing this creature bait. And we also have here, here is a smaller creature bait that um, Lucky 7 offers. And you can do the same thing as I showed you on the last bait. Um, this is, yeah, these are called the punch bugs. So it's like a little crawdad. I'd use a smaller hook you know, same thing, Texas rig it, get it on there, and uh, same thing, I'd use a smaller weight, I'd peg it here, you know, good little thing for punching reeds, or, you know, if you got a heavy enough weight pegged, um, throwing around bushes, all kinds of things like that, it's just a good little creature bait, smaller one, getting in tighter spots, but again, Lucky 7 made a quality bait with this. The last thing I'm going to show you is their 6 inch finesse crawler. Now this is also a good drop shot worm. Um, again, super stretchy. You know, got that thick body, good for hooking into, or good for uh, punching your hook into. Then it's got a flat tail, a lot of action, really solid worm. Um, again, comes in a multiple array of colors and either one of Lucky 7 Baits since. Um, I'm also gonna show you guys, let's see here. It's also gonna show you guys the UV Baits that they offer. Um, Lucky 7 does make UV baits. So, this is what a punch bug looks like in the UV um, color with blue and red flake. Again, super strong, super durable baits. These also come in both scents. And then I'll show you the Little sticks, which is again the Ned Rig worm in the UV. 
cool looking bait. It's got the same action, flexibility, and strength as the regular baits. And again, this comes in multiple colors. So I think that's about all I got to show you guys today. I hope that was uh, informative and you guys learned something. Please go check out Lucky 7 Baits. You can find them on Instagram.com backslash Lucky 7 Baits. Um, you can find them at Lucky7Baits.com. Or if you do go on to uh, their Instagram page, you can click on the link in their bio to go right to their store. Um, you can also find them on Twitter at Lucky7Baits. And again, um, we would appreciate any donations to iCast. Um, meaning myself, the team, the owner, Sean, all of us would appreciate any help that we could get in trying to get Lucky 7 to um, iCast this year. I will, again, uh, like I said, I will put the description, or I thought, uh, excuse me, I will put the link to the GoFundMe page in the description. Um, if you have any questions, I'm a brand ambassador. Uh, I could answer some questions about the baits, or you can go right to the Instagram page um, that the owner, uh, Sean Johnson, runs uh, for Lucky 7 Baits, and uh, he can definitely answer any questions or anything that you need to know about these baits. Again, I'm the Bass Crusher. I appreciate your time. Thank you guys always for tuning in. Tight lines and God bless.